Hi guys, and welcome to the seventh episode of the Novec demo build. In this episode, we are going to attach the bottom tank plate to the podium and also drill a few holes through the podium itself to facilitate some cable routing. Okay, so let's see. We need to have it roughly here. Oops. So I'm gonna drill from the bottom. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's just three random screws that keeps this together. So basically one here, one there, one there. That's it. There we go. So now I can attach this to the surface there with just wood screws. This should suffice. I'm actually just gonna screw this by hand so I can feel about the resistance. There we go. So now I can start drilling the holes that I need. Uh, for pulling all the stuff through. Here is just gonna be the uh, cold cathode lights. So that hole doesn't need to be bigger than letting the uh, contact through. And here we have one of those rods. And this contact is quite small. As you can see here, this drill bit will do just fine. I also need to have a rod going through here to keep everything pressured together. I'm just going to have a threaded rod so you can tighten it from the top here. So I actually have to have one hole for that and one hole for this. So and the rod I want to have a little to the back to the side because you're going to look at it from the front. The rod is going to cast a shadow because it's going to be on the way for the cold cathode light. So I need to place that shadow strategically here. So I'm gonna start by drilling that hole actually. So I'm taking an eight millimeter drill bit. I'm gonna cover that hole first. Now, of course, I didn't think this through because I need to have the pipes as well. And now I don't have enough leeway for the pipe here to go through. That's fine. I'm just going to use another dimension on the threaded rod instead. Now to drill the hole for the cold cathode light. Now, for the back side, I also need to have a rod to keep everything together. So I'll drill the hole for that. There. But, in the rear hole here, we're gonna have not a light, but the cables instead. And that's all the cables. So I need to have that a little bit bigger. Found a 16 bit, it fits the hole nicely. I'll show you guys the hole, the holes that I'm drilling here soon. There. This is the front 
So I have a small hole for the rod that's going to tighten everything together. And the bigger hole is to get the cold cathode light tube through. And then we have the same on this side. As you see, I position the uh, rod, the threaded rod hole, to be a little more backwards towards the tank on either side to hopefully hide uh, the shadow it's going to cost better. And then on the back, it's not going to be a cold cathode light here, it's just one hole for the threaded rod and then one bigger hole for the cabling that needs to go down. Okay, so next stop is to attach the rods again, to see that everything fits. Still has a good attachment here. It stops. These can actually be remaining here now, and I can start fitting the first of the electronics. And uh, that is the cold cathode lights. So I'm gonna have two of these. These are red ones. I also bought white uh, in case that looks better. But I'm gonna start at least with uh, red ones. There. Go down through that bigger hole. Go. Go. Yeah. Now you can see the cold cathode tubes are poking through there. Hopefully there's enough room in the top here now. <laughs> that actually does not fit. Uh, those rods are a bit too long. I think that's fine though. Uh, I can easily make a cut on, to cut away just these, because that's what they're actually hitting and make it come up through this hole because uh, now it's only hitting the rubber here that we haven't cut away yet so I'm just gonna cut away that rubber to hopefully make that work okay so just do it as we did on the bottom just release this And cut away this extra. Now, when doing these ones on this side on the top, you have to be very careful not to cut a bit too far in because the tank needs to have all the rubber it can get. Uh, to get tight for the Novik gas. So, cutting as close to the edge here as I can, leave as much as I can. There! Let's hope that this works. Go back with these three printed pieces. Let's try to test fit this again. There. Yep. That works. Nice. Now I can see the uh, Cold cathode tubes are coming up here through these holes a little, which they cannot do in the long run because then I won't have any space to uh, 
to put the uh, tightening nuts to keep everything together. So I'll have to somehow fix that, as these holes are meant for the tightening nuts uh, primarily. I'm thinking if I should just cut away this anyway and use a washer on top for the uh, tightening mechanism. Uh, it's probably the, the way I need to go. 